Welcome back to the channel. This is Five Finger Tree Punch, and this is week 28 of the Hardcore series. Starting out on day 190. Do a couple different things this week. Get into some fishing, of course. And we're also going to be looking for a stronghold. Yeah, got to get that stronghold found so that we can get to the end eventually. Do have some kinks to work out because I don't have ender pearls so i need to really find a way to get ender pearls but we go searching for a end portal in end portal anyways while finding a stronghold but kind of get distracted with trying to do a conduit because i do have the heart of the sea and from fishing i did get the shells that you need to make this so yeah there's the conduit uh actually you use this for a infinite water source if you put it down and then waterlog it with a bucket of water. So yeah, day 191. End up going out looking for some underwater fortresses. What are they called now? I, I can't remember. But yeah, there's some underwater buildings where they have the... It's like an entire fortress underground and it has tons of prismarine. That's the piece that I'm missing into this puzzle for the conduit is that I'm missing all the prismarine or you can use those little sea lanterns as well but don't find many sea lanterns and uh, kind of stayed out late during the night here even though it's a little dangerous because it's easier to see any of the lights under the water and did find a shipwreck so I went ahead and searched that up and of course you know just got some kind of junk in it except for the buried treasure map it's decent that's just going to lead us to a, probably another Heart of the Sea, but that's not terrible. I have an extra Heart of the Sea to make extra conduits, if I can ever make one conduit, but yeah, followed that map and kind of line myself up here and actually get pretty lucky. thought I was going to build like little lines here and I just happened to find it right away. Yeah, I was pretty lucky because I've dug quite a bit trying to find other buried treasures. It's quite tedious sometimes if you don't get the formula right trying to line it up and find the chest underground but yeah get another heart of the sea don't need that terribly bad right now but uh, i'll take it you know whatever you can get have extra conduits that'd be fun if i could get one going but yeah really have a real tough time trying to find prismarine or at least sea lanterns, because I think I can make the entire conduit out of sea lanterns if I really wanted to. And if I really had a ton of sea lanterns. But uh, I mostly find these little, I don't know, they're like little ruins. And they always at least have one sea lantern. So I go ahead and snatch that up. At least make some progress towards making a conduit, or a fully functional conduit fully functional conduit anyways and yeah just kind of crouching here to get some air because you can do that with a magma but it pulls you down and if you just do a little sneak move there it will not hurt you otherwise it'll just constantly hurt you and of course there's a lot of drowned around these areas that's one of the downsides of trying to find all this because it's a little dangerous and you get into quite a bit of trouble if one of them has a trident but I eventually scrapped that and day 193 I went ahead and thought I'd go ahead and try to find the stronghold so I have two eyes of ender I would not recommend trying to find a stronghold with only two eyes of ender because when you throw the eye of ender so the way it works is that you throw it up and then it shoots off in the direction that the stronghold is so it basically just it's kind of like a compass but an elaborate roundabout compass it just kind of shoots off in the direction and temporarily shows you the direction that it's in but it has a chance of not returning to you or it'll break if you throw it up almost like a firework like I got really lucky because I threw it up probably at least half a dozen or almost a dozen times and then and it didn't break on me so yeah I got pretty lucky but this Strongholds seem to be to the northeast of where my base is, which is not too terrible of a direction because a lot of this is 
water. I was just hoping that it wasn't under the ocean, because that would just be a pain to try and get down under the water. Uh, I would have had to definitely build a really long tunnel to get to it, because I'm not going to be able to really build any kind of structure going straight down into the water. You could, but it would be pretty tedious, and I was not up for that, so I was just really hoping that it wasn't. And day 194, yeah, still searching. Throwing them eyes of Ender up, and it's still... It's basically, at this point, it's pointing me straight east, so that's not bad. I did bring my map with me, so it's not on the map. It's actually just a little bit off of the map to the very northeast of the map that I have. So, But at least it gives me some direction so I can find my way back, because I really wasn't keeping track, and I didn't write down any coordinates for the base. I should know where my base is, at least have coordinates for it. So when we're across the ocean and got a little flat area and threw it up again, it's still pointing me to the east here. And it's still through the water here, so that'll be fairly easy because I can just take the boat through it. Boat travels really quick. So yeah, thankful that it was a lot of water in between this. Just hoping that it's not under the water. And yeah, got to the next little piece of land here. Pretty much ran out of ocean here, but yeah, it's still pointing me to the east. I want to go ahead and thought I'd take my boat with me, but then I was like, nah, I'll just leave it. Probably have to come back. I should be pretty close to getting to it. So I'll kind of run through the forest here, still looking. Throw it up another try here. And yeah, it started pointing me back in the other direction. That means. From the last time I threw up my eye at Bender, and this time, that it's somewhere in between those two spots. And yeah, I kind of lose this eye of Ender here. I don't know if it exploded on me, or did I just lose it in the trees. So yeah, I end up kind of tearing down some trees there trying to find it, but I do not find it. And I thought, oh, since it was in between the two points that I had thrown it, I thought that this cave here would have led to it. And I end up digging down here, kind of searching this out, but yeah, it ends up not turning out to be the passage to the fortress. So I end up digging down some other cave that's a little bit further back, and I dig down the side of it, and there's a ravine here, and if you see there in the dark, that is a stone brick, and that is a sure sign that you have found your stronghold. Those strongholds are almost entirely made up of stone brick. Basically, they're entirely made of stone brick, but variations of said brick, uh, mossy stone brick, and cracked stone brick. And it's a really dangerous area right there, because it's in a big ravine. With, yeah, see the skeleton back there? Yeah, he's, he's just uh, packing with his enchanted bow, so I basically just create a corridor here with cobblestone so I could safely navigate over to this stronghold area. And, yeah, just do a little placing here. This will completely protect me from having to worry about all the things that are going to spawn in this ravine that I do not have time or want to light up. It would just be shenanigans for me to run down there and try and light it up just so things wouldn't spawn around. I thought it would be a little easier just to create a little corridor go and do it make things easy so where I, I know exactly where I need to go to get to the stronghold. And yeah, there's a chest right there in the first little part of the entrance there. That'll, a couple goodies, nothing crazy, but we're really going for a stronghold so that we can find a end portal, because that's where the fun's at, at the end. Because we'll be able to fight the dragon, and we can eventually find us an elytra to fly around. Because I'm having a heck of a time finding an outpost. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to find an outpost. But if I get me an elytra and I start flying around, then I think that will really increase my chances to find an outpost so I can start getting some totems of undying. Yeah, so I don't die from random things. And yeah, there it is, right back in that area. Nice end portal back there. I'm just lighting up all these other passageways because I really don't want a creeper to come rolling up on me when I'm not paying attention. So yeah, there it is. Uh, it always has this little spawner here and what do you know, no eyes of Ender in these little buckets. 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the, the name is for those things. But yeah, there's 12 of them. And none of them have any Ender, Eyes of Ender in them. So yeah. Which means I'll have to get 12 Ender Pearls. And the Blaze Powder shouldn't be too difficult to get because I already know where a Blaze Spawner is at. So yeah. This is the Stronghold. We have found it. And hopefully we'll get to the end soon. In the next week. And I'll see you. If you like the content, be sure to give it a like and comment. It would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to get all the latest videos.